All right, today we're gonna to look at an optimization problem. So in this case, it says, suppose you had 162 feet of fencing to make two side-by-side -side enclosures as shown in the figure. What is the maximum area you can enclose? All right, so I'm gonna call this side here X, and I'm gonna go ahead and call this side Y. So the perimeter would be all the sides added together. So if this bottom here is X, then this top here is X. And then if I had this is Y here, then this side is Y. And I also need this. This is also the length of Y here. So the total perimeter of the fence here is I'm going to have this fence here and that fence there. Those are both X's. So I have two X's. And then I also need this is fenced, this is fenced, and this is fenced here. So I also have three Y's worth of fences. And in this case, we know that the total amount of fence that we have here is 162 feet. All right, uh, then we wanna maximize the area here. Well, area is length times width. In this case, that's X times Y. So now we need to bring this down to a single variable. So let's go ahead and solve for one of them here. So I'll go ahead and um, solve for x in this case. So why don't we minus off 3y minus off 3y. So we have 2x equals 162 minus 3y. And lastly, divide everything by 2. So I'll end up with x equals 81 minus 3 halves y. I'm going to go ahead and take that and substitute into my equation for x over here. So we'll get that the area is 81 minus 3 halves y times y. Distribute that y through in this case, and we'll get that the area equals 81y minus 3 halves y squared. All right, let's go ahead and then take the derivative of this, because we're trying to maximize this here. So we'll get that the derivative of this would be 81 minus 3y. And to maximize this, again, we want to set our derivative equal to zero. So we get zero equals 81 minus 3y. Go ahead and add 3y to both sides. So we'll get 3y equals 81, and then simply divide by 3. And we'll get that y is 27 in this case. So now that we have that y is 27, we can go back up to our perimeter equation, which we said up here was that 2x plus 3y equals 162. So we'll take our y value of 27. We'll put that back in here. So 2x plus 3 times 27 equals 162. We already know 3 times y was equal to 81 from before. Plus 2x equals 162. We'll minus off the 81 in this case, minus off the 81. We'll get 81 equals 2x, divide by 2, and then we'll get that that is x equals 40.5 in this case. So now that we have our x and y value, the question wanted to know what is the maximum area you can include, uh, enclose. So the maximum area we said is just x times y, so we're going to put y in, we'll put x in. So we have area is 40.5 times 27. And if we do that in our calculator, 40.5 times 27, that will simply give us 1093.5. And 1093.5. And in this case, we were talking about feet, so it would be square. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.